New York Yankees fans, how's it going yet again? This is Felix from nynews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Yankees fans, let's talk about where I previously left off, Machado and Harper. In my honest opinion, the Yankees are not going to sign Matty Machado, but that doesn't mean that they're not going to try to sign Harper. I say this because it's become obvious to me that the Yankees prefer Harper over Machado. I have been seeing the Yankees come out in media and make the case against Machado. That doesn't mean I'm correct, but all signs point to that the Yankees like Harper more than Machado. You saw the Yankees trying to trade for Segura of the Mariners. You do not do that unless you do not have plans to sign Manny Machado. I expect the Yankees to make a move for an infielder to play shortstop or second base. If they get a second baseman, you move uh, Torres over at shortstop. If you get a shortstop, you obviously keep Torres at second. So if the Yankees prefer Harper over Machado, this doesn't mean that the Yankees are going to sign Harper or any of these players. In my honest opinion, it's 50-50. I see the Yankees trying to make these moves like Segura. I mean, it's common sense. When you are trying to trade for an infielder, that is really an all-star caliber player. I mean, put two and two together. Let's say the Yankees attempt to sign Harper. Where does he play? Obviously, it's going to be first base. Boris has hinted that Harper would be available to play first base for the Yankees. Even Harper himself has hinted that he does want to be a Yankee and he is open to the idea of playing first base. But like I said, at this point, it's 50-50. Do you want to spend all that money when you know for a fact you could obviously obtain players via trade or free agency that would cost about maybe 75% less than a Harper and Machado? So this is where the Yankees are at as of now. This is why I clearly stated in my previous video, if you're the Yankees front office, stop sending the fan base mixed signals and making them believe that you're going to sign either a Machado or Harper. Because in my honest opinion, folks, as of now, like I said, as of now, things could change. The Yankees are not going to sign Machado or Harper, but they are leaning more to Harper. In all these sports writers, all these articles that came out, oh, Machado apologized for his hustle comments. All of these writers predicting, oh, Machado's going to land on the Yankees. They're not paying attention. The Yankees just tried to trade for an infielder an all-star caliber infielder. And then there's more talk about the Yankees possibly looking at the Reds' Scooter Jeanette. So really, when you're talking about infielders, that X's out Machado automatically. And I don't believe a word when it comes to, oh, the Yankees are going to sign Machado when they're out actively seeking infielders via trade. So enough talk about that. Let's talk about pitching. It has been said that the Mets are shopping Noah Syndergaard. And the specific word is seriously. Not like last uh, trade deadline where we heard his name pop up here and there and then the Mets uh, backtracked. They are supposedly serious about trading Syndergaard. But in my honest opinion, with this free agency class, do you want to give up a Miguel Landahor? a Florio, etc. for Noah Syndergaard. Because realistically, that's what it's going to take to acquire a pitcher like him. It's going to be Corey Kluber all over again, and we saw the Yankees take the Paxton route. So I highly doubt the Yankees are going to give up that many players for, let's say, a so-called ace or potential ace. Because they had one with Kluber, but they decided to backtrack. So in my honest opinion, we saw the Yankees make up their minds when it came to acquiring James Paxton. We saw them not give up a Florio, Andohar, etc. That is not the route they are willing to take. So in my opinion, the Yankees are going to acquire that last arm via free agency. Of course, Noah Syndergaard would be great on his team, but he's going to cost a lot, and I want to do the favor to the Mets and give them studs in return like Andahor, Florio, 
etc etc it's going to cost a lot so yankees fans leave your opinions in the comment section below like always i'm kind of feeling better now but still kind of under the weather but i want to wish you guys a happy thanksgiving holiday and like always it has been felix from nynews.com share like and subscribe and i will check you all next time yeah,